we are here at uh, Koropa's Tushon Center. Yes, uh, and I'm your own, Mr. Koropa, the founder of Koropa's Tushon Center, which is situated uh, on the Copper Belt, Chinabongo District. So, we are, we have created this channel to help people out there, especially those who are very far from Chinabongo, who can't manage to come and attend extra lessons at our tuition center. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button so that you don't miss what will be coming. We have a lot of things that we are going to share with you that will help you to make it as you are writing your exam which is coming. Thank you very much. We are going to start the new topic and uh, this topic is for the beginners. If at least you have done something in mathematics, then you can wait for your topics that are coming because we have a lot of things that are coming. So the first topic being the integers and why we have chosen to start with the integers. Integers is one of the important topics which is always coming in other topics. So for example, if you look at, uh, if the question comes to say solve the equation, If you are to solve this equation, you are supposed to correct the like terms. So once you collect the like terms, you find that here what we are having, we are having the integers. So having the integers, someone should understand these integers before we start teaching the equations. And this is the reason why we are going to start with the these integers, because integers are very important, they will be coming in other subjects. So now, how do we teach these integers at Proper Solution Center? Let's first like the topic. So under integers, there are two points that you are supposed to master for you to understand these integers. And these two points, there is what we call same signs and what we call different signs. So I'm going to write these notes so that they will help you as you are revising. So write with me. The first point it is saying, same signs, you add the numbers and the answer maintains the same sign. Different signs, we subtract the numbers and the answer maintains the sign of the bigger number. Make sure that you master these two points. Now, if you look at the first point, we have this example. Second point, we have this example. Now, I would like you to pause a video, then answer these two questions on your own so that you I see how you are going to answer them. You compare them after answering this. Yeah, I'm sure you have answered the, the, these two questions correctly. Let's try to answer them. We are saying, same signs, we add the numbers and the answer maintains the same sign. Now, when you are saying same signs, what does that mean? Let's look at this number. Let's look, let, let's look at 3. 3 it has a negative sign. Then 4 also it has a negative sign. Which makes this, this question to fall under the same because 3 is having a negative and also 4 is, is uh, having a negative which means they are having the same what? The same sign. So now what are we supposed to do? You are supposed to add these two numbers. You just say 3 plus e. Uh, 4, which will give you 7. Then what does that mean? The answer should maintain the same what? The same side, which is negative. So the answer here is negative 5. Oh, sorry, negative 7. Uh, let's hope you, you answered this one correctly. Let's look at this one. Five is having a negative. Three is having a positive. So these two numbers, they are having different what? 
different signs. Then what did we say about uh, different signs? We are saying you are supposed to do what? To subtract. When you subtract, your answer is supposed to maintain the sign of the bigger number. So in this case, we are going to say 5 minus 3. When you say 5 minus 3, what are you going to get? You are going to get a 2. But we have two signs here, this negative and this negative. Now, which sign are we going to maintain? We are going to follow the sign of the bigger number. This 5 is bigger than 3 and it is having a negative, which means the answer is going to be negative what? Negative 2. So here it's negative 2. I'm sure you guessed correctly. So we are going to look at uh, more examples. Yes, so we have examples here. We have about five uh, examples. So let's try to look at uh, the first one, which is question A. Uh, we are taught to evaluate. Now, if you look at this question, the first question that you should ask yourself is, am I having same sign or different sign? Now, how can you know that we are having same sign or different signs? You look at the nine. What is the sign in front of nine? The sign of, in front of 9 is negative. Then the sign in front of 7 is positive. So we are having different uh, signs. Remember under different signs we said, when you have different signs, you are supposed to subtract. When you subtract, your answer should maintain or should carry the sign of the bigger number. So in this case, we are having different signs. So we are going to subtract to say 9 minus 7. Then we're going to get a 2. After being a 2, you look at the sign of the bigger number. 9 being, uh, nine being uh, bigger than 7, we are going to maintain that sign that 9 is carrying. So we are going to have negative what? Negative 2 as our answer. This one, are we having same sign or different signs? We have different signs. You look at the signs there. You have different what? Different signs. So we are going also to subtract. But don't say 2 minus 6. Start with a bigger number. Just say 6 minus 2. Because we know to say we are having different signs. So you can say 6 minus 8, 2. We'll get a 4. Now, when you look at a 4, is it going to be positive or negative? You look at the sign of the bigger number. The sign of the bigger number will tell you even the sign of the answer. So in this case, 6 is having a positive. So even our answer is going to be a positive. But I want you to know something about the positive. When your answer is positive, don't include a positive. Just ignore a positive. We, don't, we only write the sign when the answer is negative. If the answer is positive, ignore the positive. Just write the number. Just write 4. Same when you find uh, a number written like 2. You should know to say there is an invisible positive in front of that 2. So take note of that. Let's look at this one. Are you having same sign or different signs? <laughs> For me, I can only see a negative sign. I can't see the other sign. So are you having same sign or different signs? That's the question you should ask yourself. So in that case, as I said on this one, this 3, it has no sign in front. So it means it's having a positive. 3 is having a positive, which is invisible. Your sign is even push. Yeah, so here we go. We have a positive and a, neg a negative. So we are having different signs. So you are going also to subtract and maintain the sign of group 7 because it's bigger than 7. So it's bigger than 3, right? So you are saying 7 minus 3, which will give you 4. This 4 is going to have a negative because bigger number is what? Is negative. Let's look at D. So if you look at D, is it same or different signs? You look at these two. The signs they are different, so I'm going to subtract. So when you subtract 9 minus 9, what are you going to get? Definitely it's a 0. So you write a 0. A 0 has no sign, so if it's 0, you just write 0. 0 is neutral, just write 0 without any sign. So we have this one. 
Now, what I'm going to do to this one, in the comment section there, try to post, try to answer that question. I'm going to respond to you. We are going to respond uh, uh, under the, the comment section. So try to answer this question. I'm going to, to mark you. And don't forget, if you have enjoyed this lesson, we have more that is coming. So don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss other lessons that are coming. Let me give you uh, this example. You can look at this one. This is the next lesson that we are going to have. When we are looking at these questions on top, we didn't have the letters, so but we have introduced the letters. So don't miss the next lesson that is coming. Make sure that you subscribe and click on the notification button so that you don't miss other lessons that are coming. We'll be with you until the time you'll be writing your exam. And make sure that you even buy the book because we won't just be revising the past papers. We'll be learning. We'll just be teaching. This is a tuition. So this is a tuition class. So get even your book. You'll be writing whatever we'll be giving you. So make sure that you follow us. See you next time as we are going to have the next lesson. Thank you.